The fantasy story begins with a boy named Then, who has been experiencing strange visions for some time. In these visions, he imagines a mysterious girl who constantly calls him toward her. Her entire body glows, and it feels as if she possesses supernatural powers. Then tries his best to reach her in his dreams, but every time he gets close, she vanishes. Because of these recurring visions, Then feels a bit disturbed and wakes up, still unable to understand why these dreams have started to come to him suddenly. Then lives in a city with limited facilities, so he hopes to move elsewhere in a few years. We learn that some time ago, Then's mother passed away. He visits her grave daily to pray for her. Currently, he lives with his father, who, heartbroken by the loss of his wife, rarely leaves the house. Unable to overcome his grief, Then's father remains withdrawn, so his aunt, Emma, stays with them to look after the household and take care of Then. At Then's school, a girl wants to be in a relationship with him and constantly tries to get close to him. However, Then has no interest in her and turns her down, which disappoints her. Then has a straightforward approach. He'll only do what feels right to him. One day, while the teacher is introducing a new student to the class, a girl named Lena, everyone begins talking about her. She comes from the Ravenwood family, rumored to be experts in dark magic. Many of the students feel a little afraid of her, but Lena shuts down the rumors with a few words, although then doesn't believe in such things. He prefers to trust only what he has seen himself. On his way home in his car, as heavy rain pours all around, then suddenly notices a car stopped ahead. It turns out to be Lena's car, and she stops then to ask for his help, then invited Lena to sit in his car so he could drop her home. After driving a little while, the rain stopped, but he soon reached a part of town where a large crowd had gathered. Curious, then asked his friends, who told him that lightning had been striking this particular spot continuously with the same intensity, which seemed very strange. Many students speculated that these unusual events began after Lena transferred to their school, hinting that she might be somehow connected to them. Hearing his friends, then couldn't help but wonder if there might be something to their suspicions. The scene shifts back to the school, where their teacher introduces a band book. It was from the Ravenwood family and contained information about dark magic and demons. Some students were against reading it, as their parents had warned them not to, being very religious and devoted to God. Some of these students even held hands and began to pray aloud. Lena seemed visibly distressed by the repeated prayers and grew increasingly angry. Suddenly, all the mirrors in the room shattered, startling everyone. Seeing this, Then and the other girls began to suspect that Lena might indeed be a witch and that her anger had caused these incidents. Determined to understand more, Then decided to visit Lena's large mansion, hidden deep within the forest. The place looked abandoned, almost like ruins, but he cautiously made his way inside. Despite the eerie silence, Then eventually found Lena sitting inside. Just as he approached her to talk, Lena's uncle, Mike, appeared. Seeing Then with Lena, he invited them both further inside and began to have a conversation with Then. Uncle Mike started asking Then about his future, and strangely, then found himself sharing everything, even personal details. He revealed his future plans, explaining what he wanted to achieve and the goals he had set. After a while, then realized that Uncle Mike had cast a spell on him, compelling him to reveal all his future plans. During this, he also confessed that, in some way, he liked Lena. However, as he became aware that his mind was being manipulated, Uncle Mike quickly dismissed him, instructing him to leave. Uncle Mike then scolded Lena, reminding her that, although she was living here, she was forbidden from befriending ordinary humans. He explained that he had placed strong magical protections around the mansion to prevent strangers from entering, but Lena still needed to be extra cautious. Lena noticed that Then hadn't yet left. He was holding a pendant he had found in the garden and wanted to give it to her. When she approached him, he handed her the pendant, and as their hands touched, they were both struck by powerful visions. They saw images suggesting they had known each other in a past life and had once lived together. In this vision, they learned that they had been separated forever after a deadly war, which led to their tragic deaths. When then opened his eyes suddenly, he found himself back in his bed, clutching the same pendant. 
He thought it must have been a terrifying dream, so he went to his Aunt Emma and asked how he had gotten there. Emma explained that she found him asleep outside and brought him in, thinking he must have drunk too much, then told her about the strange dream he had, and since the pendant was real and still in his hand, Emma suggested he return it to the mansion where he found it. Taking her advice, then headed to the mansion where Lena lived. But as he opened the gate and walked inside, he was shocked to find himself ending up in the same spot repeatedly, as if the mansion's magic was trapping him in a loop. After some time, thick roots from the large trees around began to ensnare then, wrapping tightly around his body as if squeezing the life out of him. Just when it seemed like he was taking his last breaths, Lena appeared and used her powers to break the roots away from his body. Seeing then in a weakened state, she took him inside her mansion. When he regained consciousness, he asked her how she had such powers and if she was a dangerous witch with dark energy. Lena explained that her family, the Ravenwood family, came from a unique lineage of sorcerers. Unlike dark witches, they weren't harmful, but they did possess magical powers. She told him that her uncle, Mike, had cast protective spells over the entire area to keep both magical beings and ordinary humans out, ensuring her safety. Then asked her about the types of power she had, and to demonstrate, Lena transformed the entire ceiling into a night sky filled with beautiful, floating words that narrated a love story. Seeing this, then realized that Lena likely had feelings for him, too. After that, then began visiting her regularly, and they grew closer, eventually entering into a relationship and finding happiness together. Lena confessed that even before meeting him, she had visions that they would end up together, which made these moments with him all the more special. Meanwhile, Uncle Mike visited then's aunt, Emma, to discuss something important. Emma expressed her concerns, saying Mike shouldn't have brought Lena to this area, fearing for her safety. Mike revealed that a powerful, dark spirit was after Lena, possibly trying to kill her and absorb her powers, which is why he was so protective and didn't want her forming connections with anyone. Back at the school, a meeting was held in the main hall where concerned parents were demanding that Lena be expelled, fearing her differences and the strange occurrences linked to her. After a while, Uncle Mike arrived, ready to address the situation. Mike firmly told the parents that they couldn't expel Lena, as more than 70% of the land in the town belonged to the Ravenwood family, including the school. If the family wished, they could reclaim all their property. It would be wiser, he argued, to let Lena stay in school. To explain the mirror incident, Mike also assured everyone that it was simply due to the heavy lightning strikes in the nearby area and had nothing to do with Lena. Suddenly, a new character was introduced, Natalie, a powerful sorceress and Lena's older sister. She arrived at the school and invited then over to her family mansion for dinner. Then wanted to ask many questions, but Natalie used her magic to silence him temporarily, transporting him to the mansion, where the rest of the Ravenwood family lived. Still unable to speak, then found himself in a dark and ominous environment. There, it became clear that the family didn't approve of Natalie. Unlike Lena, Natalie had chosen the path of dark magic. In the Ravenwood family, each girl could choose her powers upon turning 17. Those with pure intentions would receive good magic, while even the slightest darkness in their heart would lead them to black magic. It was evident that Natalie had chosen the darker path, and her family was aware of her dangerous powers and intentions. Since Lena hadn't yet turned 17, she hadn't chosen her powers. Controlling then, Natalie joined the others at the dinner table. She sneered at Lena, criticizing her for loving a human, someone who could never be on their level. Uncle Mike tried to reason with Natalie, urging her to release then from her spell, but she refused. She even began to torment then, using her powers to inflict pain. Witnessing this, Lena grew furious, her emotions surging in defense of then. In a surge of rage and desperation, Lena unleashed her powers, creating a storm that swept through the dining area. Tables and chairs flew as her magic took hold, and she managed to hurl Natalie out of the room. Then, having endured so much, collapsed from his injuries, unconscious. Determined to protect him, Lena tended to his wounds with care, ensuring he was safe. Afterward, both Emma and Mike sat down with Then 
and Lena to reveal a hidden truth. Emma shared the story of Lena's great-grandmother, who, long ago, broke a fundamental rule of the magical realm by marrying a human and choosing to live her life with him. However, this union came with a grave price. Her human husband's health began to deteriorate rapidly. Desperate to save him, Lena's great-grandmother transferred all her good powers into his body, sacrificing her own purity. Left with only dark energies, she unknowingly passed on a curse that would affect each female descendant. This curse, it was said, would eventually manifest in Lena, marking her with dark powers on her 17th birthday. Mike gently explained to Lena that, because of this curse, she needed to stay away from them. He feared that being close to a human would only worsen her transformation. The idea of losing then deeply saddened Lena, but she tried to accept this harsh reality. Meanwhile, when then discovered the curse and its implications, he hurried to the mansion, determined to be with her. As he approached the mansion, he found the house surrounded by an electric barrier, a protective wall Mike and other sorcerers had created to keep him away. Yet, as then moved forward, something unexpected happened. He walked through the barrier unaffected. Mike and the other sorcerers were astonished, baffled that a mere human could bypass their magic. With little resistance, then reached Lena and took her hand, determined to help her break free from the curse. Then brought Lena to his Aunt Emma, hoping she could offer guidance. Emma led them to a hidden, sacred place beneath her house, a sanctuary dedicated to spiritual protection and the healing of curses. The room, located deep in the basement, was unlike anything they'd ever seen. Adorned with symbols of light and purity, it exuded a powerful energy that felt otherworldly. Emma, the caretaker of this ancient place, explained that the site held secrets capable of countering even the strongest dark magic. Emma had faith that a sacred book in her care held the solution to Lena's curse. However, when then and others attempted to read it, they found only blank pages. The book was visible only to Lena, who possessed the necessary powers. As she read, words began to appear, revealing ancient rituals and possible solutions. For days, Lena tirelessly searched, hoping to find a way to lift the curse. Yet, as time wore on, the book remained elusive, leaving her increasingly desperate. Then, one day, Lena uncovered a shocking revelation within the text. A way to break the curse, but at a heart-wrenching cost. The book demanded a sacrifice of someone who loved her deeply. Devastated, she realized that if she followed this path, it would mean sacrificing then. Unable to bear the thought of harming him, Lena was torn between her freedom and her love. To spend her last precious moments with him, she joined him for a day in the forest, creating memories she thought would be their last. She didn't reveal the full truth, telling him only that she had to perform a ritual to try and rid herself of the curse, encouraging him to return home for his own safety. Later, as then returned home and shared his confusion with Emma, he realized something was amiss. When Emma suggested inviting Lena for dinner, then seemed perplexed, struggling to recall who Lena even was. In that painful moment, Emma realized Lena had erased Then's memories of her. The act, done out of love, was Lena's way of protecting him, ensuring he wouldn't suffer when she was gone. Months passed in quiet, painful separation. Lena's 17th birthday approached, and with it, the danger of succumbing to dark powers. Meanwhile, her sister Natalie and some family members plotted to influence her transformation. They wanted Lena to embrace the darkness, becoming a powerful sorceress bound to dark magic. In order to achieve this, Natalie has to make Lena angry. On her birthday, she starts executing this plan and controls one of Vance's friends. The next day, there was supposed to be a play at school where everyone was going to wear old soldier uniforms. Van and his friend were playing together in one spot, and Natalie had already controlled his friend. They both pointed fake guns at each other, but Natalie had loaded real bullets in her friend's gun. When the gun was fired, the bullet directly hit Van, and he fell down writhing in pain. Lena learned about all of this and rushed to Van to save him. That day was Lena's 17th birthday, and she had to decide whether she would have good or evil powers. Seeing them dying, she couldn't bear it and a great anger toward Natalie and her family filled her heart. 
leading her toward the dark side. At this point, Natalie knew no one was more powerful than Lena, so she apologized and fled. The only one left there was a family member, who was essentially Uncle Mike's wife. Lena became very angry and began gathering all her black energy. Dark clouds gathered in the sky, and lightning started striking. After her 17th birthday was complete, Lena acquired many powers. She first absorbed the energy of a witch named Sarah and destroyed her completely, obliterating her body. At this point, Lena had no idea that her curse was broken. Although she now had black energy powers, her heart was pure, which meant she had both good and evil powers. However, Lena soon noticed that it wasn't then but rather her Uncle Mike who was standing there. He had intentionally orchestrated everything so that Lena could break her curse herself. He had also saved Then's life and sacrificed his own to help Lena. Lena was heartbroken to see her uncle in such a state. Shortly after, her uncle passed away. The dangerous curse that had plagued Lena's family was now gone, and even Nan was completely safe and sound. Lena was immensely happy, but when we see Then now, he is in school and has no memory of Lena. Because Lena had cast a memory loss spell on him, then had forgotten her. Then was doing very well in his studies, so he was being sent to New York on a scholarship. He was very excited to go there. Meanwhile, we see Lena, who, due to her spell, was forced to secretly watch Then, but then didn't even know her. One day, when Then was about to leave for New York, he came to the library where Lena was reading an important book, and his gaze fell on her. Then spoke to Lena for a while and she felt quite happy about it. But soon, he left for New York. As Then was walking, he started recognizing the places where he had spent moments with Lena. Slowly, his memory started coming back, and after some time, he realized who Lena was and the memories they shared in the past. Then shouted Lena's name aloud and, instead of going to New York, he returned to Lena. This is how our story ends.